Hello, this is John Piper and a very happy new year to you all. Um, in this video clip, which I'm calling my new year video, um, I want to sort of set out how I think we might uh, see markets behave over the course of 2021. Um, 2020 has been a very good year for us um, in the sense uh, I'm, I'm talking about the business and all the technical trader and, and, and the markets we've been focusing on, which have primarily been cryptos and the precious metals, uh, both of which have had fantastic years. Um, and I mean, the chart of Bitcoin shows the action since, uh, well, I mean, since, since March, it's been OK. Um, since September, it's been uh, fabulous. Uh, I suppose actually it's tre it trebled from uh, March to September, approximately, and it trebled again um, from September to the end of the year. Um, so you know, virtually um, 10 times over the course of the year. Um, there are two, in fact, two counts here, and they, they have quite different connotations. So let's have a look at the, the first count as per the, um, in fact, the count I've been using for the last uh, few months, which is we've got a one wave here. We've got five waves defined. We've discussed that fairly exhaustively. Um, irregular ABC2. Then we've got five waves up to here, which is I'm calling one of three at this point, and then two of three, and then we've got five waves up, which could be three of three. However, there is an alternative count here, which um, shouldn't be ignored, in that this could be a one, two. This wave here, I'm counting as part of three, could be a three in, in total. This could be a four, and this could be a five. Um, now, both counts call for correction in the short term, um, but the size of that correction could, well, is very likely to be very different. We've got a complete five up to here. Uh, as opposed to having a uh, a peak of uh, five of three, so I uh, one of three, two of three, sorry, three of three, I haven't been for four of three, five of three. Um, my inclination is that we're going to see a continued rally initially this year, um, as institutional investors continue to come on board uh, Bitcoin in particular. So I'm, I think we're probably going to see a fairly uh, relaxed correction at this point. Nothing too dramatic. I mean, it probably will be quite dramatic because we've seen these incredible gains. But um, you know, I, I'm suspecting that this is actually a, a three of three. If so, the fibs are important. So the, these here, so 38.2 would take us down to 24,400 approximately. Um, so th that would be the kind of maximum, maximum correction I'd expect if this is actually three of three. Um, looking at this chart here, there is another another possible count. This is... This is um, this is two of three. This is actually one of three of three. This is two of three of three. Actually, this is a one, two, three, and a four, and a five. So there are various counts here. Um, I, I think we'll do a sell-off. I mean, I think you know, we've seen five waves up. Um, okay, that's never cast in stone. I mean, I think it easily continue a bit longer. Um, but a bit of a sell-off of some description, I think, is coming in. I've taken some money off the table, not very much. Uh, but just a little bit to sort of show willing and it's good to get some cash into the system, as it were. Uh, and I think I think some kind of correction is due in the fairly near future. Maybe, um, I mean, we could easily see a, a market blip up as a, as a new year forecast come in, which will probably be quite positive for Bitcoin. As, you know, it's such a strong year. Um, I think most people are going to be bullish at this point. Um, so the forecast will probably be bullish, prompt, prompt us to go higher. Um, but a, a correction is, I think, pretty close. Um, which of course would be a buying opportunity. But because of these various different counts, there are various different degrees of correction, but the formation of that should should become um, fairly clear as, as that progresses. So I'm expecting the market to continue to expand, possibly quite dramatically in fact, but we are due a bit of a sell-off. Uh, and I think it will probably be quite muted. And I think 24, 500, 400, whatever, um, would probably be as much as we'd expect. Um, Unless, of course, we've got five rows up, which is, which is I think, the less valid count, in fact. I mean, it doesn't look like a, a fifth wave. It looks like we're really seeing the thing accelerate now in the third wave formation. Um, so I think we've got four and five to come before we get anything too too severe on the uh, on the horizon. Right, secondly, gold. Um, Bitcoin, I got, got into initially in 2016 when I didn't really know much about the market. So I used a Big Club Network to get in, which worked really well, in fact. I know it's gone a bit sour. Well, it went very sour, in fact, in 2018. Um, but it served its purpose, and uh, 
produced very good returns in 2016 and 2017 until the end of that when uh, mining became unprofitable because the, the huge rally in crypto into the in 2017 um, drew far too many people into mining and it became uh, non-productive uh, and there was, I think there was company fraud as well that was not 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 great uh, but in 2016 I also said gold was going up um, we've now got this one two and similar pattern really we've got the possible one one or three two or three three or three we had a big correction here on gold um well not huge as well from 2073 down to uh, uh 1800 odd um and i think we're now back on the on the upside um on gold so uh, expecting a good year for gold also uh, let's go and have a look at this chart in a bit more detail uh, as with the crypto gold's wave count is open to interpretation and um, we've got the one into this peak here and the two um i count that as one of three two of three but then if this is three or three it's quite short um, compared to the the one wave here uh, let me just check whether we're on a fib fib chart or, or not standard chart um this looks more this looks like it's bigger than than a, a four of three um which means that the wave count may need to be adjusted uh, and this could be a bigger move i mean it could be a wave four i suppose i mean it could be all of three somehow it doesn't really count very well as, a, as all of three this could be a four um but again, we need to watch what happens. I think uh, let's have a look at the shorter term to just get a feel for whether we're seeing the, the low come in at this point. Uh, so let's have a look. Um, so I had quite a nice five there. Uh, wave two, another five there. ABC down to here, roughly. Um, we're still trying to make new highs, which are, I mean, the, the 2000 level is clearly, clearly sorry, not clearly, 1900 level needs to be broken first. And then 2000. Um, I mean, this needs to strengthen up really to, to encourage the view it is actually a correction. I mean, this could be an A and a B with a C, a C wave decline coming in. Um, doesn't fit the count that well, but it's certainly a possibility. Um, but again, you know, the, the, I'm trying to talk the longer term here. I think longer term gold will have a very good year this year um, as the fiat currencies continue to print money and devalue themselves against uh, uh, harder assets like uh, gold and Bitcoin, etc. So again, I'll be looking to maintain most of my holdings um, in, in gold stocks uh, as I'm planning to maintain most of my holdings in crypto, uh, expecting that over the course of the year we'll see solid profits. And obviously I'll be looking to highlight any potential buying opportunities as, as they come up. Um, also, also shorting opportunities, but I think that they'll be less important. Um, I think the, you know, the majority of the profits this year will be on, on the long side of these markets. Ethereum is another market where the wave count is not as clear as it could be, uh, but from the virus lows we had uh, five rows up to there as a one, ABC two, um, and this looks like three continuing with possibly in its final phase, uh, although this is quite a long one, so uh, it may be that three has further to go, with some very solid gains coming in the, in the last uh, last few days, um, from around 550 up to 750, which is uh, always good. Um, yeah, so no real, no real nothing to really, really add longer term it's looking good um for more upside going into uh well this is the year we're now now in all right so um, silver is actually a much clearer count well in many ways and gold but as we saw uh, we saw a key low actually in uh in march 2020 um one two three four and then there's a rapid move in uh form wave five uh I mean, it's possible that the again the count could be maybe the three went to there and that's a four and five but it, it doesn't really matter very much it looks like we've certainly completed a one wave there big correction a b c let's get rid of this uh fib thing which is uh, not terribly useful at this point in time so off this low here we've got a one two three four five um again suggesting that an uptrend has begun i mean it's not impossible this could be some kind of b wave with a c wave to come but looks pretty encouraging i think the fundamentals are pretty good for gold and silver as for cryptos going into 2021 um so i think there's probably the beginning of a new a new leg up um but it's always, always good to be wary but having seen five rows up so let's have a look at this shorter okay that looks in fact like we've got a one two and then a three very sharp four rather dithery five in progress so it's possible it's actually an abc um which would be a more negative count in fact quite quite a 
quite a strongly negative count from another sell-off on, on silver. Um, I mean, you can count it as a one, a two, a three to there, and then a four and a five, but very small four. Not, not impossible, but um, I mean, that, that's certainly a corrective formation, ABC, but you know, these things can just continue. Um, looking at the longer term again, I mean, I guess this could be an A to, well, that's an A to there. Um, this could be actually a B, A, B, C, a B to there. And this could be a C down to there. So it may be, it may want a bit of C, another, another leg down, um, which would obviously delay any kind of rally. But again, I remain less positive on, on silver than gold. Um, but silver has got catching up to do. And, and uh, I, I think a little bit of caution is required at this point, really. Um, so certainly on, on silver. Going back to gold again, if we look at this upper trend line, we're just just touching it again now already. So, and this, this could be an ABC also. So, you know, there are a variety of counts here. I mean, this, is, this looks like a complete ABC. Um, this looks fairly impulsive, but it needs to get above here with a bit of, bit of power um, to confirm we're back in bull mode on gold. I mean, it, it's, it's possible that the cryptos are going to just dominate for a while. Um, and that the precious metals are going to be drained a bit of cash as the money goes into crypto, which is what's been happening happening recently, I think. Um, as per that video, I suggested uh, that Minesh Bindi produced, um, explain, explaining why that would be the case um, once the institutions in America started calling Bitcoin Gold 2. Uh, is it Gold Mark 2? I forget now, but uh, anyway. Um, so it may be that the cryptos are going to dominate gold. over. The, I think they probably will dominate gold over the course of the year. Um, but I expect gold to have a good year as well once once we're out of the, out of the woods with these uh, these corrections. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's quite a big correction. I mean, we've been correcting on gold since August, so you know, it's four months so far, um, and the fundamentals look pretty good. Um, but th this is still a little bit dithery. So uh, although I expect gold to have a good year, it may not be um, so much so in the shorter term. Right, the equities, I think, would have a bad year. I think we're going to see negative action on the equities this year. Uh, I can't really see that. Well, I guess all the government spending, anything could happen um, as the value of the dollar, pound, euro, etc. will start to dwindle. Um, the the actual index is measured in, in mini pounds, dollars, etc. Uh, so the actual, um, I mean, that of course applies to Bitcoin and gold as well. Uh, but I think that's an additional positive, as it were, rather than being uh, a fundamental issue. So with, with gold, silver, crypto, um, that, there'll be appreciation on top of the increase in price, not value, um, because of the current devaluation that's being affected. Um, in the case of uh, equities, I think the, the, there'll be real devaluation in, in, in worth, but there will be an offset um, because of that devaluation of the currencies. Um, and that'll be quite a small factor, really. But um, FTSE looks pretty, pretty negative. I mean, we've got this big collapse uh, on the virus news. We've had this very correct looking ABC um, with this this fib I mentioned some months ago, um, 61.8% fib on FTSE at 6617, which is still holding sway here. We haven't really made any real progress above it, and we're back below it now. And this looks to me like a complete ABC, and that we're going to head down in a big way in uh, 2021. I mean, that, that, that's a pretty clear chart, and it is a very negative chart. So you can see how the... Um, the fib has just controlled this market uh, back in December, not so, not so far, not, not so long ago, um, and again failed here with a high around 6680, 6676. We've now got a one, two, three, four, so one more blip down uh, to complete with five ways maybe, a bit of a New Year's rally perhaps, uh, and then I think we're going to see the thing start to fall away quite sharply. So I'll be looking short FTSE in the fairly near future, uh, I haven't done it at this point in time, but uh, you know, it's looking negative to me at this point. I go to the DAX, um, and you see a different pattern here. Clearly, we had the the, uh, the peaks we saw back in the beginning of the year. A great big collapse, down 43% on the virus news. Um, then I think we've got... I've revised the count here, so it's now a 1, a 2, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 an irregular and very large ABC for four. And now we're climbing our way back up again um, with this little rally coming in. Well, not little, it uh, hasn't, hasn't yet. So it has, has just made new highs, I think. 
No, maybe uh, yes. It's, it's, uh, so we, we have made new highs, um, and it may well want to rally a bit further. Let's get under a slightly shorter term chart here, because that would be, I think, a bit more useful. All right, on the DAX, um, not the easiest count either, but uh, for this fifth wave, I think it's a one, a two, then a one, two, three, a rather confused four to complete three. That's a five part three wave. Four, now we've got one, two, three, four, and one more rally. Um, so again, rather like FTSE, um, coming to the new year, New Year's rally, uh, and then a major peak at that point. Um, and again, I think we're going to head downwards uh, from then on on in. Uh, I mean, this is the only wave count, obviously. I'm, I'm, uh, these things are ne never definite, but that's how it looks to me. I'm looking to short any, any new highs up here, probably. But once I see some reaction, uh, that's my expectation for uh, the DAX. So tying in with FTSE. Right, as far as the Dow's concerned, we've got these five rows up. One, two, three, four. And there's sort of a rising wedge type thing. Um, so an ABC one, ABC two, ABC three. Actually, it's more like a five, but it's a rising wedge type five. Uh, ABC four. Um, and now we've got a one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so with an ABC uh, five, if we see a failure of this move um, early in the new year. So we have got a harmony here. If we start to see markets moving down in the first couple of weeks of this month, uh, then that could be the start of a, ma a major decline. Um, so I think equities are, well, ba based on this analysis, based on the Elliott Wave Theory, uh, and of course the nature of the, of the world we now live in, um, it's looking not too good for equities. Um, but we need, as ever, wait for confirmation of these things. It's, um, you know, I can't guarantee what's going to happen, but certainly, as I'm looking to go short of, of the equities, um, and I plan to uh, um, very possibly add, certainly add to spread betting positions on, on gold and crypto. Uh, and, well, depending on what happens, um, build up those positions and build up shorts on the, on the, on the equities. Right, well, I hope that's, that's useful. I mean, I'm... I'm I prefer to go into more detail than just giving my conclusions because if I don't give you all the workings, then you won't know why I'm thinking the way I'm thinking, um, and I'm not putting you. I'm not putting you in a position where you can make your own decisions if I just give you my conclusions. So um, I appreciate it requires more work to interpret what I'm saying um, by going into this little detail. But I think it's, it's ultimately <clears throat> more useful to those among you who, who want to trade these markets yourself, um, which is what this service is all about. Um, I mean, we. I will be issuing alerts as I see, or at least I will be issuing confirmations uh, once I take action on on these various positions, um, as as per usual. But uh, yeah, that's my basic rationale. Um, so it may be more confusing to go into, into sort of detail, but I think ultimately, for those of you who are serious about markets, it's, it's a more useful approach. Anyway, have a have a great New Year. I hope it uh, works out extremely well for all of you and. Uh, Certainly better than last year, which with the virus was a bit, uh, uh, well, blighted, I guess. We've got the vaccination, of course, this year. Um, hopefully they will uh, do the job and we'll get back to normal before too long. Um, anyway, have a great year. Thanks for listening. Uh, bye.